so early. Forgot to press these last night. You were all excited about the baby. Out of the old uniform and into maternity clothes. Mm -hmm. Mm. Larry, what are you doing? Listening to our kid. <laughs> you can't hear him at less than two months. Him? Him? Her? They? Yeah, I'm there. I wish we had the baby right now. Uh-uh. I want to feel every kick, every little punch. I want to feel his heartbeat. in here. Mom? Hmm? Can we go to Uncle Bell's for my birthday? Honey, I told you. Arlen's taking us out for a special dinner. Oh. He's trying so hard to get to know you. I'd rather go to Uncle Bell's. A major new storm is moving in from the northwest and will bring additional snow into the Washington, D.C. area, ending later tonight. The highs today are expected to be 30 to 35 degrees and cloudy. The lows are expected to drop below freezing again into the 27 to 31 degree range. The chance of snow is 90 percent today, dropping to 80 percent this morning. Something wrong, Grandma? Mm -mm. It still surprises me, you know. Little Priscilla nursing her own baby. <laughs> I'm gonna miss you. I'm gonna miss you, too. But you know, Dad says there's a real future in this job he's lined up for Jose. Life is easy in Florida. You'll never have a miserable day like this. Good morning. Mm. We were letting you sleep. Mm. I have been awake many hours. Hi, baby. You nervous? Mm -mm. Excited? 
Look at this weather. Priscilla, in this weather, our plane will still fly? Oh, sure. A little snow won't stop them. looked at the thermometer, Ron. I am taking this on the trip. Mm. Uh, it's the uh, rising executive's all-purpose wardrobe. It's ideal for staff meetings, impressing the clients. This is for R&R &R in Florida. This is for business. Well, this will let down. Oh, you want buttermilk, chocolate-covered, jelly-filled? One of these and I won't be able to get back into this. Dave, are you sulking? Oh, no, I never sulk or pout. I have been known to brood, to gloom, and of course I cry a lot. Mm. This trip to Alabama and to Florida means a lot to me. Right. The boss is finally accepting the brash and aggressive young woman. That's right, as an associate, not as a glorified secretary. No, I wasn't sure he ever would. No, I wasn't sure that you wanted him to. Well, Joe's tough because he wants to stay ten steps ahead of the rest of the world, but he's the best. All right, so now you can be out there in front with him. I just wish you could be happier about it. I would be a lot happier about it if we were married. Oh, come on, David, not this morning. What difference does it make? You know, we're doing just fine the way we are. And marriage doesn't add anything except complications. I was there once. And never again? I didn't say that. Just don't hurry me. We've got plenty of time. You know, you do something on impulse, and, and the next thing you know, your whole life's out of control. Once you start rolling, you just can't stop. Well, what's wrong with that? As long as you're going in the right direction. I know it's cold. Look, if you were a cat, you'd have a nice warm sandbox. You're a dog, so go. Go! New record for you. I think what I'm doing here is nuts. Could be right. Pumping away by the hour, getting no place. They put people away for doing things that make more sense. Don't look at me like that. school? Can't make up their minds. It's ridiculous. Do the Eskimos close their school every time it snows? <laughs> We're not Eskimos. Staying home is so boring. Thank you. Me? I wouldn't mind staying home. I mean, I still can't figure why the company's sending me on this trip. They've got seven others going. Well, we'll both stay home. Hey, why don't we get out the sled? Usually you look forward to your trips. Maybe if it wasn't so soon after the transfer. All I know is that I'd rather be here with you and Al than down in Florida with a bunch of strangers. You're not sorry we made the move, are you? Well, it was a promotion. It used to be, if it meant a promotion, I'd go to China. <laughs> Lately, though, I'm not so sure. Well, I better be getting to the office. 
I'll be back uh, 10, 10.30. I still have to pack. Oh, you're really putting it off this time. I guess I just played and don't feel like going. <laughs> Ginger, come on, let's go wake her up. Mm. Oh, Ginger, go away, go away. Roger! Oh, Ginger, go away. Go away, go away. Roger! She loves you. Oh. Anyway, it's time to get up. It's another beautiful day out. Ah. Oh. It's snowing. It's cold and it's miserable. Naval recruiting ah! would sink without you. <laughs> Ugh. You're all sweaty. I just cycled from here to Saskatchewan and back. <laughs> Have I told you lately that you are a weird person? Lucky I work in a mental hospital. <laughs> Ginger, mm. do not let her go back to sleep. <laughs> her, not me. Her. That's her. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> While snow threatens the entire Northeast, we here in Miami bask in continued sunshine. The forecast for Miami today should be continued clear skies through the day. Snow flurries. Cloudy in the late I hate these overnights, even in good weather. Donna's on this flight, isn't she? Mm -hmm. Well, at least you'll have good company. In other parts of the country, the National Weather Service reported that 75 record low temperatures. What's this? The date the baby will be born? <laughs> I'll bet you it's a week earlier. Ten dollars. As we take a look at our weather map, we'll see rain spread from the Pacific Northwest across the northern intermountain region. When are you going to tell Air Florida we're pregnant? I'll finish this trip, and I'll send the company a letter, and they'll put me on suspension. Can go back. I've always hoped someday I could work the international flights. Get her. Mom! Tim! Ooh, turn it down. Hello! William's here. Mm, I miss you, Williams. How are you? Wish we were back in the Bahamas? Anywhere with you. Uh -huh. Did you make reservations for dinner Friday? No, I'll do it this afternoon. Well, what did Glenn say about our going out for his birthday? Uh, he's really looking forward to it. We'll finish up today then? I've got reservations on Eastern around noon. Unless there are complications. Seems to me there's been nothing but complications. You've been on this case ever since I first met you. And now the Federal Reserve Board's given me the okay. I've got to go down there and close that bank. A lot of innocent people are going to be hurt, Carol. That's not your fault. I know. It's my job and I'll do it. But that doesn't make it any easier. Why must you always feel so responsible for others? I wish just once you could think of yourself first. I'll survive. I love you, Arland. I just want to see you relax, enjoy yourself more. We'll have the whole weekend, a refresher course in enjoying ourselves. Maybe we'll talk about wedding dates. Sounds great. But let's make sure Glenn's on board before we firm up our plans. There you go again. Always putting somebody else first. Call me when you get into Tampa. Bye-bye. Listen, you take my car today. I need your Jeep. Okay. I worry about a pregnant lady climbing in and out of that Jeep. I'll do fine. Hey, this kid's athletic, just like his old man. Play <laughs> mm. that round six? Mm-hmm. Take good care of my Jeep. 
Come back safe, babe. lock on this door. It's the modernization of our country's oldest mental institution. You better start with the plumbing instead of this piece of junk. Concrete, electric lock. Who are we trying to keep out of here? The patients. What do the patients want in here? There's nothing worth stealing. Anyway, they're not thieves. Roger. Locks are reassuring. Not to me. Gentlemen. Mr. Farrell, how come you're out in this weather? Oh, there's work to be done here for it to reach the great church on the river. Well, you're gonna need a snowplow today. And a dog sled. The elements shall not deter us. I don't think it's worth it. Oh, how little you know, my man. Once I reach the great church on the river, I shall be given the key, the flag, all the money. And 100 virgins shall be mine. Quite an incentive, 100 virgins. <laughs> And you'll get there, Mr. Farrell. You have what it takes. I was considered outstanding in my class, though it was a remarkable group of students. Abbott, Atherton, Bennett. Okay, Mr. Farrell. Butts. Okay. Jordan. Carlisle, Converse, DeMarco, Drover, Endicott. Don't keep those hundred virgins waiting, Mr. Farrell. What a weirdo. Can you name all the kids who are in the third grade with you? Of course not. Mr. Farrell can. He has a few things he does better than most people. Who can claim more than that? For me, I don't believe it. It's the first time and probably the last. <laughs> I can't explain it. It was like any other morning. I figured to be late as usual, but I found a clean blouse right away. My car engine turned over immediately, and there was no backup traffic. It's an unusual day. Uh, got your parking near us? Is it going to be that bad? The guys say we may not even get into Washington. <laughs> the results of the tests back yesterday. Well, are you? Of course. <laughs> Nikki, mm -hmm. I've got to get a report out on this morning's meeting. Flight's at noon. When do you want us to leave? Mm, I'll be ready by 11. Have you heard what the weather's like in Alabama? Couldn't be worse than this. Well, those months of hard work really paid off, Arlen. I've never seen a more comprehensive file. Nothing about this investigation has been easy. Ah, uh, you're in the home stretch now. When's your plane leave? Noon. I'm not going to make it. Would you ask your secretary to cancel my flight to Tampa and book me on something later? Yeah, sure. It's a dirty game. I'll say it is. Oh, there's no need to ask if you et well. We have to do a bit of entertaining, you know. Well, don't they have knives and forks in France? Oh. I just hope this new concentrated parcel's all it's cracked up to be. I can't believe one little scoopful's gonna get that lot clean. That's all you need, because no other concentrated powder cleans better than new concentrated parcel. Hey! 
Look at this. Impressed, huh? I'll say. It's not even my shirt. Oh. Esso quality motor oils. In tests, most cats said their engines preferred them. With every new day, a new challenge is here. It's somehow I know the way forward is clear. You give it your best. It's the only way. And whether the challenge is great or it's small, it's trying that matters. You give it your own. There's nothing we can't do. Milk, glucose, malt, and thick, thick chocolate that always delivers that unmistakable 100% Mars taste. Fair maiden, I have come to take thee to my kingdom where thou shalt take thy place as my rightful queen. Look, whatever it is you're selling, we don't need any, okay? The gods have sent me. Well, they can jolly well take you back again, can't they? This week's Sunday Express has Marjorie Orr's horoscope guide for the next three months. Get it, or you could miss out on your rightful destiny. Fair maid, I have come to... Yes, yes, I know. Take me. Mm. What's that? Aubergine goulash. Got a veg yet, reality? No. I just fancied the green one tonight. Yeah, it wouldn't be a certain tall, dark flatmate of mine called Troy. Troy. You're so attractive when you're angry, Alison. Only kidding, Alison. <laughs> this weekend, bring your family to meet the royal family. The Dalamis Molly. Where did they find this man? He's uncouth. He's unkempt. How am I doing? Ah! He's the king. John Goodman, King Ralph. The latest Black & Decker hammer drill is a little different. It's got a powerful double-level hammer action. Two-speed gearbox. And variable speed for screwdriving. But the real difference is... It's cordless. The cordless drill with hammer action from Black & Decker. Hey, man. These two save 150 pounds off their summer holidays at Long Poly. Get away. You said I was a cold-blooded gold digger. Why not a cold-blooded killer? Agatha Christie's murder is easy. Easter Sunday at 7.15. After start, electrical. Generators, pedo heat, on, anti-ice, off, air conditioning pressurization, packs on flight, APU, running. No, Priscilla, wait, 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 this is impossible. Nothing is impossible. These soldiers have to go in the back seat. Where are you going to sit? On top of them. That's it. Everything we own. <laughs> oh. Impressed. That's true. David, I, 
I have a hard time saying goodbye. So why do you keep doing it over and over? Look, there are so many things that I remember that I hadn't said to you. Like you decided to marry me? David. I was just a wild guess. So what is it uh, that you remember? I forget. Listen, honey, have fun in Alabama. David, I love you. Nikki, we've got a change in schedule. The airport in Alabama is closed, two inches of snow. So we'll go to Tampa first. Leave on air flower at 215, flight 90. Naval recruitment. Woofer, go home. Is that an order? Yeah, because if you don't get moving now, the way it's coming down, you may get snowed in. With uh, 200 able-bodied seamen. Of course, if that appeals to you. <laughs> I'm on my way. What about you? First, I got to exercise. Goodbye, Roger. Thank you. Well, the airport's still open, but they don't know how long. If you drive all the way in, and then the flight's canceled, then... <laughs> They've got to take off sometime, and I've got a book to read. All right. Bye, darling. Bye-bye. to descend. After that, who knows? Weather's fine up here. It appears not what's real. You married a baby, that's what's real. And now that you're pregnant, at least you won't have to fly anymore. But I love flying. I'm gonna miss it a lot. Wouldn't you if you had to quit? Not really. Miami is scheduled to arrive on time, but the departure for Tampa may be delayed. They may close the airport to plow the runways. It's all right. As long as we know we got a plane on the ground, we don't mind waiting. 18A and 18B. Money. Right. Let's grab some meat. Impressive. Way these big old planes get in here with weather this bad, you know? 
It's impressive. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Howdy. Even the birds are walking in this weather. They say they're going to have the runway cleared in about an hour. Fine, but then we'll have to decide if the weather is good enough to use it. Smoking or non-smoking? Oh, well, I've been trying to quit, but, uh, well, maybe today it better be smoking. Thank you, Wendy. Thank you. I don't feel right leaving you. Don't worry, Grandma. We'll be okay. But if they don't open the airport... Oh, stop worrying. <laughs> Go on. Get yourself home before they close the parkway. Oh, bye. Goodbye, Jose. You better stop frowning, Grandma. You'll get wrinkles. Mm. I'll come back for those later. Hang on, I get it. Oh, thank you. Yes, I'd like to make a dinner reservation for this Friday. It's a birthday party. For three. Seven thirty. Could you put it in the name of Williams? Arland Williams. <laughs> Nikki, mm. paratroopers. Probably headed for Fort McDill. I tell you, there's always something about a soldier. Yeah, especially when you grow up in the army. You an army brat too? Mm-hmm. <laughs> My dad and granddad were both regular. How about you? Just to be ornery, I went Navy. Mm -hmm. Air cadets. Is that where you learned how to fly? That's where it all started. But there's been a lot of training since. I bet I'm the only passenger with their own personal pilot. Don't <laughs> we sound silly when we talk to him? You we sound talk silly. to him like an adult. Read any good books lately? <laughs> <laughs> Come here. Come here. Oh, you want to sit on Daddy? You want to sit on Daddy? It's a happier place to be. Look at this. Look at this. That's why. Right. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, for all passengers holding boarding passes on Air Florida Flight 90 to Tampa, Fort Lauderdale, we are now ready to board. Sergeant Stemming, man. Nice to meet you. Hi. Hi. Where's your passport? Thank you. Thank you. I'll be okay. I'm gonna go help them. Okay. <laughs> Both my board, sir. Hi. Fine, thanks. How are you? Welcome board. Fine, thank you. Good there, afternoon. There. Welcome, boy. Thank you. Welcome, boys. Will we go directly to the top of the name? Welcome, boys. We'll all be meeting us Oh, beautiful. Thank you. Hi there. Welcome, boy.
A window seat. I finally got me a window seat and a window you can't see through. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, miss, waiting makes me very thirsty, okay? Oh, there is, there is everything. I'll get your drink orders in a minute. Shut up, will you? Oh, Lord, how old is he? Well, he's 90. He's beautiful. Give me a call if you need anything. Okay. Thanks. Fine person. I bet she's pregnant. Or hope she is. Now, how do you know that? Just feel it. When you've been a mother as long as I have, you just know these things. Florida's Flight 90 from Washington, D.C. to Fort Lauderdale, Florida, with an intermediate stop in Tampa. I'm Senior Flight Attendant Donna Adams. Assisting me forward is Marilyn Nichols and aft is Kelly Duncan. Would you please give your attention now to the attendants as they demonstrate the safety features of this aircraft? There are six emergency exits, two forward, two aft, and one over each wing. In the unlikely event of a loss of cabin pressure, an oxygen mask will automatically drop from the overhead compartment. Discontinue smoking. Grab the mask and pull out the full extent of the cord to start the flow of oxygen. Place the mask over your nose and mouth and continue to breathe normally until advised by a crew member. Parents traveling with small children should first secure their own masks and then their children's. Each seat is equipped with a seat belt. Simply insert the metal tip in the slot and lift the latch to release. We suggest you take a few moments to familiarize yourself with these and other safety features. You will find these detailed on the card in the seat pocket in front of you. Thank you. Do you think we'll really take off? No, we'll take off. If it's safe. This is like coming home. One of these seats should have my name on it. You've been flying down to Tampa a lot. Five, six times this month. Hmm. On this flight. Well, maybe someday I'll be a blase veteran like you. Tampa today, Brussels tomorrow, Seattle next week. If that's what you want. Do I hear dissatisfaction? Oh, I'm doing okay. All these years hard at it. I'm still working for somebody else. <laughs> you could certainly get backing for your own company. Yeah. Somehow, I never seem to be able to get the momentum up to do it. Excuse me. Are they starting to de-ice? Well, it sounds like it. Oh, we must be fairly close to takeoff then. I hope so. Just got word the airport will not be reopening at 2.30. Let's hold off for the DI to come here and take off, okay? Let's just get going. It's right there. Take your coat and badge. What is that? From the restaurant? Oh, that's okay. Oh, that's okay. Oh, that's okay. Three o'clock. They're still boarding passengers. That guy just got lucky. Most ceilings suffer from cracks. Fact of life. Until now, because Polycell have just developed Even Seal. The first smooth, flexible finish for ceilings. Just one coat of Even Seal completely covers hairline cracks. And because Even Seal stretches, it keeps them covered. Even Seal, the flexible finish for ceilings from Polycell. So it's this shot for the championship.
It's Mr. Cadbury's parrot. When Mr. Cadbury's parrot goes berserk, <laughs> the geezer just can't get on with his work. <laughs> He'll step one on your neck. He'll stick one on your nose. He leaves those Cadbury's mini eggs everywhere he goes. <laughs> Be careful, cause wherever you may go, you'll hear that Cadbury's parrot say hello. <laughs> It's wonderful having puppies that are healthy and fit. I don't have to feed any other minerals, any other vitamins. The nutritionists have done the job for me. Pedigree Chum puppy food is wonderful, and the secret's in the can. It's very easy to feed. They absolutely love it. It has everything a puppy needs for good growth and for a happy life. I recommend Pedigree Chum puppy food to everyone. There's no better start, as far as I'm concerned. In the world of Whirlpool, there's a new fridge freezer that prolongs the life of fresh food. Circulating cold, fresh air, it creates four perfect temperature zones. One for freezing, one for meat and fish, another for salad, another for dairy produce. And neither fridge nor freezer ever need defrosting. The Whirlpool Fridge Freezer, with fresh air. Together, Philips and Whirlpool bring quality to life. Mrs. Ellison knows who she can trust with her pride and joy. Oh, Mrs. Ellison, how's she doing? Not too good. It's playing up a bit. Could you take a look at it and give me an honest opinion? Let's have a look. She knows who she trusts with the important things in life. Who does she choose to advise her about her money, her pension, insurance, investments? The only top ten building society that's free to give independent advice. Bradford and Bingley. The first petrol to gain the AA seal of approval for its performance has also won the approval of millions of motorists for its quality gifts. Esso. A special kind of animal. Perfect boss, Sam. You never say a word. Want to know what we're doing? The lady insists on driving this old barge. Okay. We got to make it easier for her to get in and out now that she's carrying a passenger. This step will do it. Wheaton again. Just been advised the airport is reopening. So please proceed with de-icing. Look, looks like a snow cone gone wrong. Ethylene glycol and water. The wings are where it matters most. A coating of ice on a wing, you could be in trouble on the car. More over here, please. <laughs> Sorry, I've had to sleep. Born an hour late. I don't believe it. Running out of gas. Batteries going down. No heater, no radio, no wipers. And I'm caught in a total blizzard. Come on. There you go. Miss? Now, we do have a captain and a first officer up front, don't we? Yes, sir. I would think that one of them would take a walk around outside, check firsthand there's no ice buildup on the wings or in the engine. The anti-ice system should take care of that. I'm sure the captain's taking the necessary precautions. Mm. Funny. 
coming. You know, we get on these big planes and most of us don't really have any idea what puts us up there, even keeps us up there. Can bad weather really stop a jet engine? Probably not, Nikki. But there's a power probe in the front of the engine. If it's iced up, you could get a phony reading on the engine instruments. You see, you think you got this much power, but you only have this much. But no problem with anti-ice. No, no problem. Ready to roll. Ready to roll. Brakes off. Brakes are off. We're moving. All right. We stop. This airplane reminds me of catechism school. <laughs> no, it's true. In catechism, they teach there's a place called limbo. It's not heaven, it's not hell, it's not good, no bad. Somewhere in between. I think all of us were in limbo. Querido, we're in a 737. And in an hour or so, we're gonna be in Tampa. This will be the second time. He just flew into Tampa. Hello? Oh, Mama. Hello? Uh, no, no. I'm fine. I was just surprised to hear your voice. Generators. Heat oh heat. On. Anti-ice. Off. Air conditioning. Pressurization. Packs on flight. Hey, Pop. Not giving you up. I'll never do that, son. The old man may be a little late, but count on him. Yeah, I allowed myself extra time. Didn't need it. I don't know why I even bothered to come in. Five bucks says you fly today. You that bored already? Five bucks. Okay, you're on. No way do I take the Eagle up in this. Okay, Palm 90. Palm 90, just pull over behind that uh, TWA hold right there. We'll be falling in line behind the uh, Apple PC-9. You're 16th in line for takeoff. Palm 90. Flight 34, you're now number three for takeoff. Uh, monitor tower 119.1. How's it look? Some buildup on both wings. Obviously, we'll be using maximum thrust for takeoff, and if that's not enough, we'll just shove the throttles to the firewall. United 101, you're cleared for takeoff. This is cruddy. It's probably the cruddiest snow I've ever seen. It's been a while since we've been de-iced. Flight 34, you're clear to take off. 34 rolling. Look at his exhaust there. Tell you what, my windshield will be de-iced. I don't know about my wing. I'm gonna get your wing now. Did they get yours? Can you see your wingtip? There's a little on mine. 
A little. This one's got about a quarter to half inch on it all the way. You see this difference between the left engine and the right one? Yeah. I don't know why that's different. Unless it's his hot air going into the right one, that must be it. From his exhaust. He was doing that in the chocks a while ago. So I got married when I was 20, and I knew that we didn't have a prayer, but I just got so into it, the plans, the invitations, the church wedding, the bridesmaids, that I couldn't pull out. It was like a toboggan ride. So the marriage lasted a little over a year, and uh, then I got myself a pretty good job and put myself through college. I'm talking too much. Ooh. No, 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 Nikki. Most people get edgy waiting. Mm. Don't do that, Apple. I need to get the other wing done. <laughs> What's funny? Your dad, he's so good to me now. Getting me a job, buying these airline tickets. When I first met him in Spain, I thought he hated me. <laughs> Always frowning. Yeah, dad frowned at any boy I saw more than once. When he took you back to America, I thought I would never see you again. Wouldn't you have come after me? Carried me away? I wanted to, but America seems so far. I know. I had to come after you and carry you away. <laughs> Priscilla, mm. sometimes you look like such a little girl. <laughs> I know that you're very strong. Well, I gotta be. I gotta take care of my men. Boy, this is a this is a losing battle trying to de-ice these things. Gives you a false feeling of security. That's all it does. Yeah, but satisfies the feds. Right there's where the ice truck should be. They ought to have two of them. <laughs> then we taxi through them, like a car wash. <laughs> <laughs> now for Palm 90, if you're with me. We'll be going out after uh, the red DC-9 Apple type. Palm 90. We have been alerted to prepare for takeoff. Could you fasten your seat belt securely fastened? Could you put your All hand luggage is stowed underneath oh, the seat you put your tray And your seats and tray tables return to their original upright position. You know, it's funny. Larry and I, we've always tried to live each day, each minute. Forget yesterday, let tomorrow take care of itself. <laughs> All of a sudden, we're planning ahead. Next year, five years. I can't believe it's us. Something new has been added. <laughs> I think it's time I did some planning, too. It's <laughs> luxury runway. You want me to do anything special for this, or just go for it? <laughs> Unless you got something special you'd like to do. I'll take the nose wheel off, and we'll just let it fly off. We'll be climbing to 5,000. I'll pull the power back to 155. It's supposed to be 16. Depending on how scared we are. <laughs> Palm 90, taxi into position and hold. Be ready for an immediate. Ladies and gentlemen, we've just been cleared for takeoff. Flight attendants, please be seated. Do you want to step here with me? Sure. Palm 90, cleared for takeoff. Palm 90, clear for takeoff. No delay departure, if you will. Traffic's two and a half out for the runway. OK.
Jessica, look at that thing. That doesn't seem right, does it? Uh, that's not right. Yeah, it is. There's 80. No, I don't think that's right. Maybe it is. 120. I don't know. B1. Easy. B2. Where are the others? 
My legs are broken. Mine too. And my, my foot. We need ambulances, paramedics, everything. At oh, least man, five vehicles on the bridge were hit. And the plane's in the river. God, somebody's got to help us. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Put this around you. What? Put this around you. Oh, Derek, you should have stayed away. I belong here. Not anymore, Derek. People can't forgive that easily. But it wasn't my... We break into this program for a special announcement. We have a report that a plane has crashed on or near the 14th Street Bridge. We repeat, a plane has crashed on or near the 14th Street Bridge. Air Florida, Boeing 737. 
took off northbound on runway 36 uh -huh. from Washington's National Airport. If only we knew whether your dad was on that plane. Even if he was, he could still be okay, right? You believe that, don't you? Hundreds of commuters on their way home were stuck He's in, in God's hands. <gasps> Maybe in the river. Let's do it. Did you use a little excitement? Anything, man. Seems this plane hit a bridge. Yeah? Wiped out everything in sight and ended in the river. Where'd you get that story? It's floating around. The guy's starving. He's floating too. Too much ice. I don't know. There's no way to get a boat down through here. Too much Of course you're upset, Mother, but try to calm down and let me check it out with Air Florida. I'll call you right back. Get that life jacket behind you. Hold on to me. visibility. We must be crazy. Reports just in say several cars and one truck were struck by the air. I was hurt on the bridge. That hit the 14th Street Bridge before crashing into the Potomac River. Oh, damn it, why don't you tell us who was hurt on the bridge? And rescue vehicles have been hampered from reaching the scene due to the amount of snowbound traffic. Put that life vest over your head now. The crash occurred at approximately 4 o'clock. We know there are fatalities on the bridge, but we have no information on possible survivors in the plane. Early report... <gasps> Hang on! Don't give up! Hey. I can't! 
What? Look over there. I can't get any closer. My... <clears throat> Help! Help's coming! We're gonna make it. Hang on! Just... just a little while. Thank God. It's gonna be all right. We're gonna make it. You over there! We're gonna be okay! Hold on! Hold on! No longer! I'll, I'll stay with you! Shiver. Try. Shiver. Too numb to shiver. Are you all right? All right. We're not all right. You're in a cold sweat. Hundreds of rush hour commuters were backed up on the 14th Street Bridge at the time of the crash. How many motorists were injured by the impact of the jetliner? I don't want to let you down. Not known at this time. We have been asked to tell all... You're not letting me down. Al, you're my strength. You're my courage. is a cigar called Hamlet. The mild cigar. After words, silence. After fire, ice. After time, peace. After dark, tear Maria. I move with the times. I want progress, performance. To help defend my eyes from the signs of aging, I've discovered Plenitude Contour Regard Cream Gel for the eyes. New from L'Oreal, Contour Regard, an eye cream gel with the immediate freshness of a gel and the active ingredients of liposomes. Contour Regard works in three ways. It helps combat the appearance of lines, puffiness, and dark circles. New for eyes, Plenitude Contour Regard by L'Oreal. Challenge the signs of aging. don't always come out the way you'd like. Try Bachelor's MicroChef straight from the cupboard. They're meals specially made for the microwave. Mm. Yum, yum. It's yum, yum. It. It's got my dinner. Oh. It's my dinner. Microwaves oh, just one. love MicroChef from Bachelor's. for every move you make. Ian, Katie, Bimto. I'm thirsty. Brilliant! What's diet, Bimto, Mum? Well, less sugar, but still with vitamin C, and it tastes just as good. Come on, Sam. Vimto and Diet Vimto. Hot or cold? 
the taste of home. <clears throat> we apologize for the poor sound quality of this sun-ripened tomato, but when you smother flavor, stifle the lilt of a stilton, muffle a prawn, you knacker it. If you want to release the flavor, let Jacobs cracker it. Please release me. Let me go. Don't knacker it. Cracker it. Roofing felt, 38 kilo roll, eight pound 49 at B&Q. B&Q, price is so low, you just have to tell somebody. Oh, father. Who art in heaven? Hallowed be thy name. I can't come. Don't. I will be done. I will be done. On earth as it is in heaven. Bless this day in daily bread. Our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses. Please forgive those who trespass against us. We forgive our debtors.
I know Nikki was on that plane. I know, I know she was supposed to go to Alabama, but uh, I got to call her mom. Where are you? popular drink. He'll call you. He always does. Gotta take him from the right side. You try it from over there, that tail road is gonna connect with some junk. Be in the river with him.
Damn it to hell. We got other people out there. Go ahead. guy at GT saw it on the TV. Well, Joe lost her in the water. She's dead. Nikki's dead.
closer. I don't want to see. 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. A park police helicopter arrived after the crash, dropping flotation rings to the survivors floundering in the river. As yet, none of the identities... What about the others? What about Nikki Felch? There was a Priscilla brought in, uh, Kelly. But Nikki, sometimes she's called Pat. Maybe she was taken to another hospital. You have someone on the plane? My fiance. You know, they rescued three women. What was your fiance's name? Nikki Felch. It was a Pat Finch. Wait, Pat's her real name. Pat Felch. Pat Finch is at the Washington Hospital. Okay. You okay? Yeah. Keep an eye on this fellow, man. He likes to swim in ice packed rivers. <laughs> Yeah, I know all about him. Thanks a lot. It was my pleasure. Thank you. Good night. Thank you. I just spoke with your father. He's flying up, and he'll be with you in the morning. Donde está mi corazón? Mi corazonito. Mi vida. Roger, you smell awful. Jet fuel. And I, I, I took a 40-minute hot shower at the hospital. I want another one, though. It may never be warm again. Take your shower and I'll get some nice warm clothes ready for you. Okay? It's nice to be here, Woofer. You shouldn't have driven all the way in here in this weather. I told him. Oh, hush.
never let go of your hands again. gonna make it. See, we're getting married in May. No matter what she says. And the rotor wash blew the ropes away. And this man, the sixth guy, he pushed it back. Twice, uh, he pushed the ropes over to the others. Had his chance and passed it to somebody else. And, uh, when we went back for him, he was gone. And these were not the only heroes. It was Arlen. Arthur Olean, a sheet metal foreman at St. Elizabeth's Hospital, was credited by... I know it had to be Arlen. ...the courage to hang on until help came. Olean swam and crawled for 20 minutes until a helicopter arrived on the scene. It was moments later, after the helicopter arrived, that we saw... Bed. You must be tired. Me? No, I'm not tired. Yeah, well, I am. And you're gonna be up at the crack of dawn exercising. Well, I think maybe I've had enough exercise for a while. It must have been terrible out there. It was terrible, but you know something? Today in that river, I did my best. Best I could ever do. And something else. I love those people. Strangers, but I felt like they were family. More than family. A little while. Well, next Saturday night, you can look forward to the return of those perfect scoundrels, and they'll be appearing at ten past eight.